Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and we are going to be talking about how you can get a guy's attention but not looking thirsty on the gram because we all know we have seen that one guy where we're like, oh, oh my God, he lives in the same city as I do or, you know, but you potentially just want to just talk to the guy and he seems like he has all his chips in a bag and this is how subliminal ways where you can flirt with a guy without coming off too strong. Now, let me just make this clear. I do not believe in walking up to a man and telling him how you feel about him. Let me tell you why. I feel like any time in the past when I was younger, I would come up to a guy and shoot my shot or get his number. I felt like the more masculine one. I felt like I had to kind of go out my way to text him because he off back already know that I'm interested. So he kind of got the ball in his court and the favor in his hand and he doesn't have to try that hard because I kind of already came off like, hey, hey, I want to like you. Either A, they immediately try to think that you want to sleep with them or you're going to easily sleep with them. Or two, they're not going to put in as much effort because I just feel like if a man is very compelled to come up to you and talk to you and captivated by you, that man is going to pursue you. You can't ask a man to pursue you or be interested in you when he honestly probably wasn't interested into you in the first place because you never want to disrupt that hunt that men naturally have. They naturally want to hunt. They naturally want to go after what they want. And if you're not it, sis, just take that L and keep it moving. And just know that the universe did not want you guys to talk, period. Just believe in that, trust that, no matter how much it seems like it sucks. Like you don't want to go around ch chasing this guy because he's going to kind of treat you like a second option because you kind of were a sec second option because he wasn't really worried about you if you had to come up to him. Now, there are ways you can do to get his attention, especially on social media in the day and age of, you know, people not really going out and about. But I'm going to focus on social media and then I'll talk about how you can do it in person to kind of get his attention if you're out and about with friends and you see a guy that you like. So on social media, how do you shoot your shot? Well, what I kind of do is that this is like a 50-50 coin toss for me. So if I see a guy, I'll follow him um, on the gram and, you know... And once he accepts my friend request or if it's public or whatever, you don't just follow a guy and expect him to just notice you because there's probably other people that's on their page. Um, if this is someone who has a lot of followers, just be careful because their DMs are probably already hot anyway. And you follow them like a couple of their pictures. Now, I'm not saying flood their whole timeline up with you, but just like about six to five pictures. Six at max. I'll say six at max. Like about five to six pictures. Maybe even comment on one. Like, oh, this is nice. Or nothing like, oh, you look good. Or just like, oh, like clapping hand emojis. Or like the little praising hand emojis. Something like that. Like you want to kind of make sure you ease into it. Not too much. Okay. So if they don't say anything or they like your pictures back and nothing like comes out of it. Okay, so the other thing that you can do is when they have a story and they post on Instagram or whatever and whatnot, reply to a story and kind of like laugh at it here and there. Don't reply to every story he posts, but make sure it's a good post. If it's a post to him, put like a heart, eyes. You can do that. You could be bold enough to put the heart eyes like, oh, you look good. Let them know like you find them very attractive um but you're not gonna hit them up in the dm and be like wow you are so attractive just be like just the hard eyes because what you're doing is you're dipping your hand in the water and seeing if there's a catch or any bite okay or you're throwing the little rod out you're throwing your fishing rod out and you're seeing if there's any bite and if there's no bite and he's not, he just likes it, he likes your response and he doesn't really say anything or start up a conversation with you, then just reel it back in, sis. Just, 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 just slowly reel it the freak back in. Because then at this point, you kind of already shot your shot. You let them know that, you know, you're trying to be actively talking to them. And if they don't get it by then, because that is an open door for them. Because they're like, oh crap, she's replying to my stories. She's liking my photos. Like, I think she's interested, man. She's in my DMs. Like, why not? Like, let me just go ahead and see what this is about. And if the guy tries to like, you know, 
start a conversation with you then just be very active and start a conversation with them don't be dry with them you know just start a conversation with them oh where are you from da, 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 da. like you know oh i saw you on some and if they ask you like how did you find me just i saw you on a friend's page and i like your page <laughs> something like that don't just say i like you and i want you and you're fine like don't do too much and that is how you shoot your shot ladies hopefully it works sometimes i mean it's never been a disappointment for me. Like, okay, let me use an example on this one guy. Oh my God, this guy was so fine. I don't know how he found me, but he followed me. But that's it, he just followed me. And I was like, uh-uh, dude, you ain't about to just follow me. You fine as hell. Like, I'm about to get your attention. I'm about to get your attention, sir. So I liked his photos and whatnot. And they didn't really do anything or whatever. And, you know, he liked a couple of my photos back. But that was about it. He hit the DMs up. So I was just like, oh, my God, dude, come on. So he posted on his story. So I would always watch his story, you know. And so I know he saw me watching his stories and stuff like that. And I would respond back and then he started responding back and then he started watching my stories and responding and then we just started flirting and I would send him a little heart eyes and a little kissy emojis and you know just stuff like that because he was a ladies he is fine <laughs> oh my god I was like how did you find me oh my god but yeah he was so fine and then like next thing you know he's like yeah like why haven't we ever like you know talked and I was like whoa you can ask for my number he was like well if you want to talk to me and i'm just like dude we're going back and forth of like who's gonna give each other their number and whatnot so finally we got each other's number and we started texting we call we talked and whatever like you know whatever that's that's that like yeah he's been added to the roster <laughs> you know so i that's always worked for me now there are times where somebody can have a lot of followers they're kind of celebrity like i would not think that that can work for a celebrity per se because they have a lot of followers already and their ego is kind of like uh you know so i don't really go for like celebrity type men um if they want to hit me up i've had athletes hit me up or you know i saw an athlete somewhere and i followed them on the gram and they ended up watching my story and like a couple of pictures and i'm just like okay that can kind of go hand in hand that can kind of go a little like that can go both ways to be honest and whatever happens happens and i just feel like if they don't shoot their shot that was a missed opportunity now I say for Instagram because that's where people are mostly dating. Now, Facebook's a little harder because if they don't post on their story, you can either A, comment on their post and be active. And also, ladies, like, change your Abby picture. If you're a picture... If your picture on the gram or Facebook is not of you or it's not like a cute picture where it's like you're smiling and you're looking good, it's not one of your best pictures, change your Abby picture because when that little picture pops up, that's going to capture his attention. So you got to make sure that that picture is like on point. You can't just be having a picture of Nicki Minaj or something like that and then think that old dude's going to click on your profile and see who you are. They're going to be like, who is this? But if you're looking cute, post, post, because I know this one girl, we just had this discussion she was trying to get this guy attention she has absolutely no photos on her instagram i'm like how are you gonna get his attention he don't even know what you look like you got that one little abby picture up there that people can barely see but they could be like oh i think i like what i see and they go to your page and you have absolutely no pictures on it like that is not going to help you sis that is not going to help you you need to have some type of picture at least have one or two so they can at least know you're not catfish or nothing or you're not fake or nothing so you need to post on your story you need to post on your page i'm not the best at posting on my instagram Instagram all the time consistently but I do post and I am active on my Instagram stories and all my crushes watch my Instagram stories and my little boot things they watch my stuff so you know I just stay active that way um and I you know chit chat with them on Instagram and then some people get leveled up to get my phone number so these are ways that I have you know kind of throw my shot and I have unintentionally thrown my shot at guys that I didn't even know that was watch me and all suddenly boom during my DM so this definitely works ladies um also what else um now this one's on Facebook like I said you want to comment on his post and like his post and or like his Abby picture or something like that just show some love or whatever you know and try to see where it goes from there and also post on your Facebook story because I 
been posting on my Facebook story and it's been catching some attention from people where I'm like, ooh, I didn't even know you noticed me. Okay, cool. And you know, they've been in my DM. So it's Facebook and Instagram. So that is how you can flirt, uh, shoot your shot online. Now in person, let's get into it. Now in person, if you see a guy kind of staring at you, um, stare at them back and smile and you can so this is one thing that i've learned from i don't know if you guys know who jillianis is but she's basically deshaun watson girlfriend and he's a you know big time texas football player so she said that he was staring at her and they caught each other's eye and she said she had sushi in her mouth because she was eating and <laughs> this is what i noticed that she did that was very feminine of her to let her know that the door was open she smiled and went <laughs> You know, like that to him. And that's when he hit her up in the DMs. He like found her and like hit her up in the DMs. And I'm just like, okay, that is a tip. She made eye contact. She said they kept making eye contact all night and she was smiling at him. And she even waved at him to acknowledge him. Because when you give that man that acknowledgement, that wave, that smile, that eye contact, then they start to feel comfortable coming in, coming up to you and shooting their shot. Now. If you're trying to get a guy's attention and he hasn't really seen you yet, maybe pass by, go to the bathroom, you know, smile a lot. Because when you smile and you feel good and you're having fun, you kind of, kind of, your aura kind of takes up the room itself and people start to notice you. Um, and that way you can kind of like, kind of look at him, kind of kind of look at him a time to see if he's looking at you. Cause my nine times out of 10 men kind of do kind of stare at the room and kind of check everybody out and see who's who and what's going on. So I would recommend, you know, kind of eyeing him from time to time. Now, if he is not paying attention and he is not looking at you, that's that hand in and the hand out. Like we cannot force to get attention from these men because you'll find yourself chasing after them and being that aggressor when they weren't interested in the first place. You never know why they're not interested. They could have very well have a girlfriend. They could very well be going through some things. Um, or maybe just God, the, the universe, is trying to save you from even interacting with this person because sometimes you cross paths with people you are not supposed to be crossing paths with. And you ever kind of was just like, dang, like, I had a missed opportunity with a guy before where he kept staring at me. He was like some photographer. He just kept staring at me and he was so fine. But I was so nervous. Um, even though I look confident on the outside, I was so nervous. And I was just like, oh my God, he keeps staring at me. We keep making eye contact. But my mistake was I kept looking away too quickly. Because we would make eye contact and I'll go. Mm. And then look everywhere else. So it was kind of like I was not inviting him in. And I'm like, I'm not making that mistake again. If I see a fine brother like that again, like I'm definitely gonna be like, cause I'm so scared sometimes that I may like smile and wave and he's like, who are you talking to? But you know what, that's the risk that you take. And he never know, you never know. You could be smiling and waving. You could look at another person and smile and wave and just smile and wave at everybody or smile at everybody. You're just a smiley ass woman, okay? So I would say that is how you can shoot your shot um, in person. That usually works is just making eye contact and smiling because that opens the door for opportunity. And then those are open door opportunities for men on social media as well. So hopefully these tips have helped you. And if you have any other suggestions for the ladies, go ahead and comment below. We need, this is a community here. We're leveling up in all ways. And if you have any suggestions that I may have missed, comment down below. And if you have any suggestions of uh, ideas you want me to, um, videos that you want me to make, <laughs> sorry, trying to get my words together. But if you have any um, things that you want me to talk about, go ahead and comment that below. Hit like and share with your friends, you know, put your ladies on game. Like, and maybe some of these guys can, you know, see this video and be like, oh, some of the clueless ones that are like, oh, Oh, that's her shooting her shot you know um so they need to see this too so thank you guys for watching and i will be going live on sundays posting on wednesdays and posting on a friday morning so all right thank you guys for watching bye